Hi guys, it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Originally, I wasn't gonna make a video about this because I already tweeted about it a little bit and I felt as though people kind of already knew the story. But then I was thinking about it today and I really fancy just making a video about it because it's actually a really nice thing and I'd like to talk about it more in depth and just have this for posterity and for anyone else who might wanna see it. So as I'm sure a lot of you know, my family are Greek Orthodox, they're from Cyprus. My grandparents in particular are very religious. Up until this point, I hadn't really known them to be very educated. Not that they are stupid or anything, they're actually very intelligent, especially my granddad, but they're just a bit ignorant, they're a bit sheltered. They didn't go to school, so any English they learned, they taught themselves, which is really incredible. But they weren't really brought up knowing things about wider society, about different groups of people. They're very kind of set in their ways, and as far as I thought, very unaware of things going on around them in terms of wider minority groups. Telling them I was trans was something that we all knew was gonna have to happen eventually, but you know, it was put off for as long as possible. So before I started tea, it was a thing that was just kept under wraps. It got to a point where it was kind of, we had to tell them now before it becomes really noticeable and all of a sudden they're like, what the fuck is going on with our granddaughter? So my mum sat down with them a few weeks ago. Me and Nats were out of the house. It actually coincided with the day that Nats was taking me out as my Christmas present. She arranged a lovely day out for me and it was actually really nice because it was a really welcome distraction so I wasn't fretting about what was going on at home. We all expected a negative response. Me, I did, my mum did, Nats did, my dad did, any friends I spoke to. As far as we knew, they were either not gonna be educated about it and just be confused or have a problem with it. That's what I thought. I did not in my wildest dreams think they're gonna be fine with it. I thought maybe they'll say, we don't understand it and we don't like it, but we still love you. None of us were prepared for the reaction. So Nats and I called my mum after we'd been out for about six hours. We were just heading into the cinema, but we said, let's call her and see how it's going. See if we can get an update to kind of put our minds at ease. It was just before we saw Pitch Perfect 3 actually. And we said, mum, how's it going? I was expecting tears maybe, or just a sigh and just, oh, it hasn't gone very well. Nope, the conversation went a little something like this. Uh, Hi mum, how's it going? Amazingly well. What? They took it really well. They said that we love Steph regardless. It's not gonna change how we feel about him. I thought I was being punked. I thought Ashton Kutcher was gonna like jump out of a bush and be like, ha, lol, jokes. Nope, didn't happen. Apparently my granddad went off on some tangent about how some of the greatest people in the world are LGBT. He started talking about Alexander the Great and how he was gay. Also, my granddad used to be a tailor. He started saying how some of the best people he'd ever met during his profession were gay men that he tailored suits for. What? My grandma, who's even more uneducated in terms of this stuff than my granddad, apparently was the same. They had some questions, obviously, more about the science side of things. And my mum explained, you know, sometimes people are born and their brains don't match their bodies in very simplified terms so they can understand. She didn't really go in depth about the testosterone. This is kind of funny. She told them that I'm gonna start changing because my body is gonna start catching up to my brain, which I know sounds funny and you'd think who would believe that. But for them, I think it's easier for them to just say, Steph realized this thing about himself and is just gonna change rather than trying to explain that it's like medicine and injections I think that would just freak them out a bit and considering how well they've taken it I don't want to do anything to freak them out, but honestly, it's been amazing It's been a few weeks since I haven't seen my granddad because he went back to Cyprus because that's where they live My grandma's still with us and she is making such an effort. It's ridiculous. This old sheltered Greek lady Has made more effort in a few weeks than some people have in a year to get my name and pronouns right. If she wants me, she makes a conscious effort to not use my dead name. And if she uses it, she corrects herself like 98% of the time to just Steph. And she has this new thing now where she calls me Steph Oz, which is her like, her way of her ma mailing up my name, if you will. And it's just really cute. And I like cannot believe this old lady who is religious and goes to church every week is just, fine with it and no literally nothing has changed at all they haven't changed their behavior towards me if anything they're more even more loving because my mum obviously did explain to them that with trans people if they don't transition sometimes things can end in a bit of a dire way and they said no we obviously don't want that we will love and accept Steph we don't want anything bad to happen to him which was lovely even after I went home the day my mum told them they just hugged me and my granddad took me to the side and said, we still love you the same. Like, it was incredible. It still blows my mind. Like, even just now, I just got in from work and I saw my grandma and she's like, you know, Steph Oz and hi darling. And it's just like, nothing has changed and it's incredible. I know I talked about this on Twitter, but I wanted to like get it across in a more verbal way so you guys can hear just how amazing they have been. Cause I'm so, I'm so impressed, honestly. And I feel very lucky as well. Cause I know this could have gone 
horrendously like it has for some other trans people, unfortunately. I'm so lucky that they've taken it how they have and everything is just normal. And now I get to fully be myself at home, which is absolutely lovely. Nats and mum and everyone else don't have to censor themselves when referring to me. If I do get misgendered, I'm allowed to openly correct people without worrying about who's in the room. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought some of you might like hearing about that. Also, quick tea update. I don't know if you guys can see. I think you can because the lighting's pretty good uh, this time, but my moustache is coming in strong. It's really living its best life. My sideburns are doing amazingly. So even to the point when I'm like here, you can see them, which I love. And I don't know if you can see, but I got a little neck beard coming in as well, which I'm obsessed with. That's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you're having a good day, evening, night, wherever you are. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.